Hi viewers, welcome to Sadhguru Vlogs YouTube channel. Thank you for subscribe my YouTube channel. If you are not subscribe, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Yes, I am Srikant, lecturer in zoology. Today I am going to explain about the haplodiploidy in honeybees with the best example in Apis mellifera, a type of uh, honeybee. Okay. If you take a piece mellifera, in a piece mellifera, males are haploid. That means they contain 16 chromosomes. And uh, females are diploid. That means they contain 32 chromosomes. And females undergo meiotic division. As a result of that, they produce two types of two X here. Two types of eggs are formed, and uh, males produce only one type of uh, sperm here. That means uh, males undergo mitotic division. As a result of that, same number of chromosomes are present in the sperms, whereas females undergo meiotic division. That means uh, they produce two eggs here. That means half the number of chromosomes are present in the ovum, whereas same number of chromosomes are present in the sperm because the sperms are produced by mitotic division, whereas uh, uh, ovum is produced by the meiotic division where the chromosomal number is reduced to half. Okay, the ovum is fertilized with the sperm. That means 16 chromosome ovum is fertilized with the 16 chromosome sperm. As a result of that, what happens? 32 chromosome <coughs> offspring is produced. That means this is female. Okay? And uh, this 32 chromosome offspring is married with another uh, honeybee which contains 16 chromosomes. That means male drones here. Okay? And at the same time, this uh, daughter, that means the Honeybee, it also produces two ova because it undergoes meiotic division. Okay, and the 16 chromosome ovum is fertilized with the 16 chromosome sperm, which came from mitotic division from the male drone. Here. Okay, and when these these two are combined here, what are the 32 chromosome female is produced? Okay, and from this unfertilized egg. From the unfertilized egg, by the process called as parthenogenesis, the male offspring is produced here. That means males are haploid which contains only 16 number of chromosomes, whereas females are diploid which contains 32 number of chromosomes. And we also know that males have no father and cannot produce sons. But uh, they have grandmother and a grandfather. That means males, if you take care, males have no father. Okay, because they are coming from the unfertilized egg. From unfertilized egg, by the process called as parthenogenesis, the male is produced. That means they do not contain any father. But this male <coughs> mother contains what here? Ma mother and Father. That is, these two, the mother and father of the mother <coughs> male, becomes what your grandmother and the grandfather. That means, males they do not contain father. At the same time, these males they do not produce any sons also. But they contain what your grandmother and the grandfather. Okay? And at the same time, at the time of the sperms also, if you take, it, <coughs> if you take the number of uh, chromosomes also, the from the male the <coughs> by mitosis uh, the sperm is produced that is 100 percent chromosomes are present in the male and at the same time the female is producing two types of ova that is 50 percent ova is ova are present <coughs> 50 percent uh, chromosomes are genes are present in one ovum and uh, 50 percent are present in another ovum that means uh, the 100 percent genes from Male and 50% genes from the 
फीमेल ओवर कंबाइंडली दैट इज 150 परसेंट दैट इज आउट ऑफ ओनली 50 परसेंट एंटर्स इन टू सर्फ आउट ऑफ टोटल 200 हंड्रेड परसेंट वन फिफ्टी दैट मीन्स थ्री बाई फोर्थ थ्री बाई फोर्थ ऑफ जीन्स एंटर्स इन टू फीमेल वेर एज जस्ट फिफ्टी परसेंट दैट मीन्स वन फोर्थ ऑफ जीन्स एंटर्स इन टू मेल थ्री फोर्थ ऑफ जीन्स एंटर्स इन टू फीमेल एंड वन फोर्थ एंटर्स इन टू मेल ओके अंडरस्टूड दिस वन इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज क्लिक दी लाइक बटन शेयर एंड कॉमेंट एंड ऑल्सो सब्सक्राइब अवर यूट्यूब चैनल एंड क्लिक दी बेल बटन